Welcome back. This is part two of the Sony press conference at E3 2014. And I believe that said Miyazaki. When I think of Miyazaki, I don't think disgusting water and blood. Then again, there was a bit of that in Princess Mononoke, but that was an awesome movie. From Software. And everyone's cheering for this. I didn't do any research on them, but apparently everyone likes them. And I'm loving the environment so far. I love the gothic architecture. It's so Tim Burton-esque. I wonder if that Miyazaki is related to Hayao Miyazaki. And the music. The score is great. So creepy. And you know what's funny? This was shown right after Little Big Planet. Ooh, the zombie dog from Resident Evil. Hey, little buddy. Danny Elfman, are you doing the musical score again? Awesome. Aw, don't kill him. He only wants some change. I don't know why they have to add more footage to this. They could have shown this right before the title, actually. It looks pretty, but it's just a cinematic, though. Coming 2015. Yeah, that was an odd way to end it, actually. And this is Far Cry 4 gameplay. Oh, I, uh, oh, the Himalayas. This looks awesome. If you can actually go to the top of that mountain, this game would be amazing. I highly doubt, though. There has to be some boundaries. But I could be wrong. Probably this game will test all the limits. Okay. I'll head in that direction. Seriously, I thought this was Jason Brody except with just a hair dye. And he sounds like Jason Brody too, but it turns out to be a guy named AJ. Who looks very similar to Zack from uh, Crisis Core. The environments in here look very good. <laughs> Aw, the poor goat. And the main uh, character is like, uh, I've seen that before. <laughs> Why isn't he not commenting on that? Oh, uh, speaking of which, I uh, heard some uh, new information about Far Cry 4, the villain. He's actually uh, being voice acted and motion captured by Troy Baker. Troy Baker out of all people. If you don't know who he is, he's uh, from uh, uh, The Last of Us, he's Joel, and Booker DeWitt from uh, Bioshock Infinite, Snow from Final Fantasy 13, and the Joker from Batman Arkham Origins. Man, he's the go-to guy right now. He, it's like no, Nolan North uh, like one or two years ago. Now Troy Baker. Everyone wants Troy Baker. Good for him though. He's a great actor. Still, I actually uh, thought that would be Benedict Cumberbatch <laughs> uh, voicing him. That would have been hilariously awesome. And Benedict Cumberbatch did uh, some mocap. He mocapped the dragon. He was Smaug. But Troy Baker, I didn't even know it was him. Good voice acting. <laughs> I wonder if you could actually play around with the dead bodies this time, because that's one of the things I kind of did like about Far Cry uh, 3, that you can't really interact with them. You can loot them, but you can't move them or anything. And sometimes uh, they land in the oddest positions, like uh, two guys are like humping each other. That is great. 
Nice. And I wonder, how early can you get the crossbow? I didn't play around with the weapons that much uh, in Far Cry 3. I did uh, play around with the flamethrower uh, as ever since I got it. I thought it was fun, but I mostly stuck uh, with the eight, uh, AK-47s. Yeah, I didn't play with any other weapon uh, besides that one. And I guess the machine gun, the... And sometimes the submachine guns if uh, I ran out of ammo for my other one. And yeah, so far the environments look very good. And I, I really like this part. Nice. Oh! That is awesome. <laughs> and you know what? The, the driving in Far Cry 3, it took a while to get used to because... And I love the wingsuit. That was the best part about Far Cry 3 also. And I wonder how early this is. Can you get it as early as... I mean, can you get it early in the game? It would be awesome. The driving sections in first person took me a while to get used to. They weren't bad, but I actually don't like the driving missions that much. I hate driving. <laughs> as soon as I uh, reached the fast travel section, I just use fast travel. Nice. <laughs> and look at the elephants. Yeah, the animals were great in Far Cry 3. Herc, back me up. Someone call for a tug during a gyrocopter. Gyrocopter. Is that Galifianakis? Nah. Huh. Lead on, elephants. Lead on. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> and that's the thing I uh, want to know. Um, is is this like a, just a separate co-op thing, or you can do this in a single-player mission and a uh, friend can join you at any time? I prefer the latter. And seriously, look at this. The elephant is doing more damage than the main character. <laughs> and of course, look at this part, the final uh, action side. Boom! And the elephant is the hero in this gameplay. The elephant, not the main character. Fortress liberated. <laughs> Every second is a story. Yep, and that story is about the awesome elephant. I can't wait for this one. Oh, I gotta talk over this one because this song is getting very popular right now. Yeah, this trailer has to be one of the best I've seen in recent years at E3. The Bomb by Pigeon John. Check out that music video if you haven't. But also recheck out the full uh, length of this uh, gameplay trailer. They didn't show this uh, at the conference. This is just a short version. <laughs> Aw, I feel bad for the girl. And I like that... He's actually mouthing the words sometimes. I really love that. And yeah, this character is my favorite. I like that he's a douche. And I like that he doesn't even notice the chaos around him. Or probably he does notice, he just doesn't give a fuck. And yeah, this is great. <laughs> and I love the shots chosen for this. All the, the camera, man. And the palm tree falls down. And then you see the helicopter. <laughs> How? Like... That's why I'm wondering if he does notice and doesn't give a damn or yeah. But here's the thing I want to know. Yeah, look at the effect on him right now. Oh man, I feel bad. Aww. And yes, bicep implants actually exist. I can't believe this. Ew. <laughs> and if you're wondering why he's bald all of a sudden, it turns out that he's that's not his real hair. That's was uh, like a wig. <laughs> And you know what? Yeah, the rollerblade girl just happens to catch up. The old ladies in the back. And I love that this uh, reminds me of Thriller, Michael Jackson's Thriller. And it looks like the zombies are dancing, even though they're running towards the camera. Oh, whoa. 
And you know what I love about this trailer? It's not misleading. Compared to the other trailers. <laughs> Seriously, I thought that was Aaron Paul. And some people thought that was Jack Black. <laughs> if it is, that's great. Aw, irony. But yeah, um, I love the trailers for the previous Dead Islands, but the problem is is that once you finally play it, it's nothing like the trailers. Seriously, I don't feel any emotion, it, emotion from it at all. Oh my god. I wanted an awesome story like a father trying to protect his family like that kind. That would have been awesome. Or in Dead Island Riptide when you see the video uh, thing about the boyfriend, girlfriend, or husband and wife and they sacrifice themselves uh, before you know, getting infested with zombies and all that. You know, if you play another couple like that, that would have been great. You know, uh, go all out in that, but no, you have an awesome trailer, but a uh, very disappointing game. It was. At least in this one, I'm excited to play it because now they know that it's just fun chaos. That's what I love. And now back to a Battlefield uh, Hardline. Yeah, it looks great. It really does. And the gameplay, seriously, the destruction in this. If this was open world, this would have been amazing. And seriously, Grand Theft Auto, if you want to take the next step before a GTA, do it like Battlefield. Except open world. Wow. I mean, you do the heist missions right now. Can you imagine a payday except in an open world environment? That would be amazing too. This one made me laugh. <laughs> Look at all the pizza boxes uh, on the left. <laughs> And what's that little figure down there? Aww. <laughs> uh. And he has a cute little kitty. And look, he has a figurine of himself on the right. And he's making tea. <laughs> and he's using magic even though he has this... <laughs> and he has a film projector. Even though he has a television. <laughs> Oh, bad move, brah. That was not cool. Oh. <laughs> you know, I recently checked this up on Steam. I probably should try it. I never heard of this uh, until now. Well, until I saw the presentation at E3. <laughs> Magic Atu, learn to smell again. <laughs> Devolver Digital. Yeah, I, I'm loving these old school like games. And I heard this one was a lot of fun, Bro Force. Like, uh, you uh, play as many characters from the 80s and 90s, like Terminator, um, Rambo. Chuck Norris, the A team. <laughs> uh, this one, I believe, is called Titan Souls. Not a hero. This one looks like fun. Man, I wish I played you many years ago. <laughs> Seriously, I would have played you on the Game Boy. Hotline Miami. And yes, I love that uh, they're making old school games again, but at the same time, you wish that they made these a long time ago. When you think of PlayStation 4, you think next gen with very beautiful graphics, then you go back to, you know, 8 bit, 16 bit. Will the world you build be like ours, or so different that we today cannot even imagine it? Your will is free because you were made to be free. The Talos Principle. Let your will be done. Hmm. This one was a kind of creepy trailer. Oh my god, it's Bane! You think this gives you power over me? When Gotham turns to ashes, then you have my permission to die. This reminds me of Manhunt a lot. 
Oh, you think the darkness is your ally? Well, I was born in it, molded by it. <laughs> I can't do bank. Unless I do. Unless I was molded by it. I think that's what I have to do, actually. <laughs> Ooh. And this is from the creator of Lollipop, Chainsaw, and... Um, let's see, what else? His name is Suda51. No more heroes, yeah. Let it die. And the logo is a Grim Reaper on a skateboard. I love that. What a wacky fellow. And that was part two. Stay tuned for part three.